So I'm a recent convert to smart rings, but they can be a bit expensive, especially if you have one that has a subscription model for you to get the best out of it. But what if I told you that there was one on the market that looks really good and is currently under $150 with no subscription and AI assisted insights to help you get the most out of your tracked data? Because I've tried it and it is mostly excellent. Mostly. This is the Nova Smart Ring on Kickstarter now. Thanks to the folks at Nova for sending me one to try out. I'll run down the key features and my first impressions about the main positives and the not so great points about the Smart Ring while I've been trying it out for over a week. In fact, one of these downsides was so bad, it may be a deal breaker for me, but they're working on it. Let's dig in, tech packers. So the version I was sent was the Nova Crystal made from sapphire crystal glass, which means the transparent design and you can see much of the circuitry and other internal stuff in the ring, which is kind of cool. To where it correctly aligned, the Nova wording needs to be aligned with the back of your hand like this. Watch out for that. I got that wrong initially until I checked thoroughly what I was supposed to be doing. The crystal design though, kind of interesting, but there is a big downside to it, which I will come back to later. It's pretty light at four grams, but it's also chunkier than the regular smart ring I'm wearing at the moment. That's the Ultra Human Ring Air. Check out the description for links about my videos to that. But the Nova Smart Ring is still wearable despite the chunk factor. But it's not particularly subtle. If you want one that blends in a little more, you might want to consider the alternate version, the Nova R instead. That's even lighter at three grams and has the metallic finish, which is a lot less chunky and goes undercover and a great deal more understated than the crystal version. You choose which one suits your personal style. Okay, back to the tech. The ring claims five atmospheres of water resistance. But what exactly does that mean? Technically, the ring should be able to withstand pressures equivalent to a depth of 50 meters, meaning it's good for splashes, rain, snow, showering, swimming, diving into water and snorkeling too. Now diving into the FAQ on the app reveals that the ring is also rated at IP68, which you might be a bit more familiar with. And that covers all I've just outlined too, though it also advises to clean and dry the ring after it's been in contact with water. For battery life, although the headline says seven days, if you dig into the specs a little, they clarify this to be more like four to seven days, depending on how you're using it, which I think is a much more realistic expectation than seven days straight. It also has a theoretical standby time of 10 to 15 days if you're not wearing the ring 24 seven and only for certain activities that you wanna track specifically, like maybe sleeping. I'll come back to that. The ring is charged by this snappy little magnetic plinth platform thing, which is strangely satisfying to use, but then I'm a sucker for magnets. Always have been, always will be. You can charge this ring up in about an hour, which is pretty good. Let's talk about lifestyle and how this ring measures all your activity, whether you're looking to actively relax or just being active. From an active relaxation point of view, there's a suite of meditation sessions included for free in the app and available there, as well as white noise soundtracks, all designed to assist with sleep, relaxation, and mindfulness if you're into that. But what about activity? Well, the Nova Ring covers all the basics and much more. Continuous heart rate monitoring is available and you also get alerts for abnormal activity it might detect when it's tracking your heart rate. You can also get alerts if your heart rate is going too high whilst you're working out. As far as exercise is concerned, it covers 19 exercises and five ways to track your activity by borrowing the GPS function of your phone. It also includes SpO2 or blood oxygen monitoring, though I have no way to validate whatever it's measuring. My Apple Watch isn't modern enough for me to do any comparisons. This is a Series 5. Here is something cool though. This ring, unlike many others, offers an auto workout detection feature. It figures out what exercise you're doing and calculates your calorie expenditure too. Now, I found that this did work when I went for a walk, but it didn't pick up less obvious exercises like a quick 15 minute yoga session that I did. So I wouldn't rely on that completely yet, but the functionality may improve in future 
firmware releases. I just don't know. Okay, next though, let's talk about the cool AI features built into the app that uses the data collected by the Nova Smart Ring. It offers insights and proactive advice that is personalized to the wearer to optimize their well being. Now, Nova says this is powered by the latest GPT 4.0 model. Nova Smart trains that on specific data and research, and it integrates diet, exercise, mindfulness, hydration, sleep, and lifestyle tips. And all of this is powered by Nova Smart's database and their algorithms. Now, the deal is, is that the longer you use your Nova Smart Ring and the app, the better it understands your body and provides effective and personalized support. Now, after a week, I was pretty impressed with some of the summaries, insights, and ideas it was generating for me. And the keystone to all of this is recovery insights, which is where most of the data and insights show up. But there are also these health narratives which highlight your good habits and explain anything that might need drawing attention to, to work on for better well-being with some actionable health tips and reminders so you actually know what to, you need to do next. Now, some people might find all this a bit much, but if you do, then a smart ring probably isn't an amazing fit for you anyway. There's also a feature to add context to your day by adding tags, which can then also trigger personalized health and well-being suggestions. Now, these tags that you can enter cover mood, food, entertainment that you've experienced that day, exercise, and any symptoms that you've been experiencing too, as well as a kind of free entry journal area. Yeah, kind of like a mini journal. Okay, the next feature, which is gonna be interesting for quite a few people, maybe about half of you, the Nova Ring has a built-in menstruation and ovulation tracking feature included. The app claims that once you start getting your period, the app can predict when you'll have your next period and when you'll ovulate. And the information is laid out in a timeline, making it relatively easy to follow. Also, you can go in and change your period records and see predictions within the app. Okay, let's finish off with the sleep functionality because that's where I had my main problem and probably my only issue with this ring but it was a big one. Wearing the ring at night will track your data so that it can give you a report on your different sleep stages, as well as detecting when you're awake too. Now, after you've worn it for a week, the system is supposed to generate an ideal bedtime for you based on your current routine and reminds you to start heading towards bed on time. The sleep quality feature checks how long you sleep, your heart rate, and how well you rest, giving you a full picture of your sleep. You also get measures of your skin temperature, which is useful for measuring your body's physiological state and responses to various factors, including exercise, stress, and illness. But the sleep function just didn't work for me. So here's my big downside, at least with the crystal version that the folks at Nova sent me to test. This is frankly impossible to wear at night for me for sleep tracking because the sensors that shine a green light light up the entire room. I'm not joking with the crystal clear sapphire glass design. It's actually bright enough to wake me up. So I gave up testing it at night. I didn't even make it through one night because I just don't need that in my life at all. It kind of defeats the object of wearing a ring like this. Tracking your sleep to get data is supposed to help deliver insights to help improve and optimize your sleeping habits. Being woken up by a bright green light in the middle of the night is not really compatible with that aim. And I don't think my wife appreciated it either. I don't have this problem with my other ring, but that's a metallic design that maybe obscures those similar sensor green lights. So be wary of that if choosing the crystal design, because for me, it's just unusable as a sleep tracking device. You might have thicker eyelids than me or something, but yeah, it was pretty off-putting. But I reached out to Nova and asked if the Nova R, that's the metallic slimmer kind of like design, might have less of a problem with this. Here's their reply. Regarding the brightness of the Nova R and Nova Crystal rings, both versions have similar brightness levels with the Crystal variant being slightly more translucent. Regarding feedback on the brightness levels, I have relayed your concerns to our technical team. They are actively working on reducing the brightness issue specifically for nighttime use. All right, that's pretty encouraging. They also confirmed that there is a gesture control feature that's being tested. Picture something like being able to use your ring to remotely trigger a photo via Bluetooth, something like that. Nova confirmed it was in development and the feature was slated to be ready for next month. That's September, 2024. But for the price, which is currently at $149 for this Kickstarter, 
it offers tremendous value for money, I think. Even as the price starts to go up to around $200 as the Kickstarter progresses and the pricing moves out to standard retail, then I still think this is a great value ring that doesn't have a subscription that delivers a lot for the money. The ring was comfortable enough and worked well for the week I tested it for this video, but the chunkier design meant I preferred my other ring, the Ultra Human Ring Air, which is much more slimline. Watch my three month review of that smart ring, which I wear every day. I'll see you there.